got a lot of work done on the Mercedes here since the last uh, videoing. Um, so we're, today we're going to do a diesel purge. I've already got the engine warmed up and uh, we're going to get this thing cleaned out. So this is what we're using here. I've got four of these uh, 300 mil cans and we're going to run it through the injection pump. Um, this is something I probably should have done before changing the injectors. But oh well. Uh, my main concern is that biodiesel was run in this car for I don't know how long. And um, so I'm not sure what condition the injection pump is in. If it has any nastiness inside there. It's already got um, some high output injectors on it. New return lines and uh, some other new rubber here. We've got a new fuel filter on there. What we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this line here. And we're going to use one of these two hoses to suck up some diesel purge, which we have right here. So I've got two cans poured into that little milk jug there. And um, I have a bigger milk jug, but we ended up using this one. So we'll do two at a time. As it starts to run out, we'll fill it back up. But I'm going to run the engine and do a little video of it before the diesel purge. And um, then afterwards and see if it runs any different. Uh, the engine's already warmed up. Um, so let's give it a go. See what it feels like. See what it sounds like. It really runs pretty good uh, after the new injectors and I do have it idled up a little bit right now um, so I'm curious to see if it's gonna improve at all uh, with the diesel purge I'm gonna go ahead and get this line pulled off and we'll route it to the diesel purge get it cranked up right fuel line is off with a little bolt in it now we've got this new one here going into the diesel purge this is a one quarter inch inside diameter fuel line um, that way you don't have to use a hose clamp on the bottom. Just push it super hard and it'll go on. Let's crank this thing up and let it run. All right, I'm going to set a timer. We'll see how long it takes for the engine to use this uh, diesel purge. All right, so we are about four and a half minutes. I started my timer a little bit late. Four and a half minutes to run 40 ounces of that diesel purge through. And uh, man, I wish I could run that stuff all the time. This engine sounded absolutely amazing while it was running. About two minutes in, I could tell all of a sudden the engine got really quiet. All of the um, dieseling noise or uh, nailing kind of sound went completely away. And this thing was the quietest I've ever heard it. Pretty neat. Um, so I ran it down just about the bottom and before it pulled the air in, I uh, just shut the engine off. So um, 
I'll pull this little bolt out, we'll put the fuel system back to the way it was before, and we'll run, it, run off the diesel again. And um, I'm curious to see, I'm gonna let the camera roll, I think, and we'll let it run off the rest of the diesel purge, and then we'll see if the old uh, noise comes back when it runs off diesel again. So let me get this fuel line switched over. Got the fuel lines hooked back up. I'm gonna crank the engine up. Right now, it, it does have diesel purge in the injector pump, and in the injector. So I'm curious to see if we're gonna notice a sound difference, or at least if you guys are gonna notice a sound difference on the camera. Um, I know there's a little bit of wind noise, but uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. All right, well it's, oh, I see that little bud. Um, it seems like the noise came back definitely not as loud as before i'll roll the clips or i'll try to roll the clips in segments so you can hear it all it seems like after let's see probably three and a half minutes of running um once all of the diesel purge was definitely out of the system it got a little bit noisier again so man it sure would be nice to run that stuff all the time um time will tell i'm sure that thing did some good work in there but that is how you use diesel purge on your om617